Hello, doers, and welcome to Inventory. Our company, Stealthy Wood, is growing quickly, and the need for better inventory management is more important than ever. We have an increasing number of products to take care of, and recording everything manually with spreadsheets is way too overwhelming, and it's inefficient. Implementing a top-tier inventory management software, like Odoo, allows us to prevent stockouts, avoid overselling, maintain better inventory accuracy, and increases our profits. That's the best part. Plus, it helps us make smarter business decisions. Can't ask for much better than that, right? So, let's explore how Stealthy Wood manages their warehouse using Odoo Inventory. Let's start with our most basic operations, receipts and deliveries. Now, the inventory dashboard shows all operations in our warehouse. To better understand how the entire process works from start to finish, I'm gonna demo a typical workflow. We'll kick things off by creating a sales order. Now to do that, we're actually gonna to need to hop on over to the sales application, so let's get on in there. All right, great. Now our friends over at Deco Addict are huge fans of our Stealthy Wood mugs, and they wanna order some. So inside of the sales app where we are, I'm going to create a new quotation over here by selecting new, and we're gonna select the customer as Deco Addict. Then below inside of the product lines, we're gonna actually add our little mugs, and they wanted three of them. Great, once we're done, we're gonna confirm this, oh doers. Now, we're actually going to see immediately the product quantity reflected on the forecaster report, which is accessible for each product by clicking on the little graph icon there and hitting view forecast. Great, a whole bunch of numbers. Now the forecaster report accounts for a couple things. The amounts of products that are on hand, the amount that are on the way, and as well as the amount that are consumed in oncoming sales order. Now these amounts are combined automatically so you know exactly how many mugs are in total over here via the forecast section. As you can see, we are missing three units to fulfill all of our current sales orders. We can also see in this table below a few bits of information. And these are entries that, as you guessed it, inside of the use by field that tell us which sales orders that demand the Stealthy Wood mugs. And they are listed with delivery dates as well over here. Now inside of the units column, we can actually see that we are missing three units to complete Deco Addict's orders. And we have no active purchase orders as well inside of the receipt column, and that's kind of a big problem. But we'll take care of that in just a moment. So going back over here to our sales order via the breadcrumbs, which is Wonder Bread, because you are all wonderful. I'm going to go over the link delivery order using the delivery smart button up here at the top center. So inside of here, this is the delivery order, a document that tells us which products need to be shipped to our customer with a delivery address, hopefully by the specified delivery date that we have over here as the scheduled date. Now, inside of the reserved column, I can see that I don't have any products on hand, and that's a problem. Now this tells me I need to purchase more from our vendor. Now to do that, I could go to the purchase application and create a request for quotation, or I could do it inside of the inventory app, which is what we're going to do right now, doers. All right, first things first, under the operations menu in here, we're gonna click on replenishment. Okay, this here is the replenishment dashboard, your go-to spot for managing procurement. On this dashboard, Odo suggests ordering three mugs over here in the to order column, which is the minimum number of mugs we need to complete Deco Addict's order. Let's quickly place an order using this order once button that we have over here, and boom, what did that do? Well, this creates a purchase order for the quantity over here inside of the to order column. Now that that's taken care of, I want to order a few more mugs to have on hand, just in case. So I'm actually gonna navigate back over inside of the purchase application. So we're just gonna type it in. All right, now we wanna find our Stealthy Wood order over here. So we're gonna find that and it's the first one up here. We're gonna change that quantity from three over here to five and then we're gonna confirm this. Great. Now we can record receive products directly inside of the purchase app using this receive products button up here at the top, but we'll stay loyal to the inventory app and do it there. Now before leaving, let's remember this purchase order number that we have right there. We're actually going to need it in a moment, oh doers. Now going back inside of the inventory application, I want you to actually click over here on receipts. Perfect. Now here we'll find a list of incoming shipments, including the most recent one for my mugs. Now here's a Jose Ignacio quick tip. When it's hard to keep track of all of your transfers, you wanna use over here that little source document because makes it really easy to figure out which purchase order was made in relation to what. Now we remember the purchase order number, right, Odoers? Of course you do. So let's go ahead and click on it right there. 
and boom, I did click the right one. Now let's say I received all five mugs as planned. I'm going to click on validate and let Odoo apply all of its done quantities for me. Now to make sure we now have those mugs on hand, look at that little forecast icon. It's a nice green. And when we click on it, Odooers, we'll notice some things have changed. The on hand and the forecasted numbers have changed for this product. In the table below over here inside of the units column, next to the sales order, notice that three out of five mugs from the actual purchase order have been automatically reserved for our delivery order inside of the replenishment column over here. Reservations ensure that if there are multiple orders for the Stealthy Wood mug, Deco Addicts mugs won't be given to someone else. That's pretty cool. Okay, now we're finally ready to process the delivery order. So let's go do that now. So we're actually gonna go back onto the overview over here. And you'll notice we have one to process for a delivery order. And it's the one for Deco Addict. Now let's click on the one that has the ready status over here because it's ready for us. I can actually now see that the product shows as available for product availability and the graph icon is switched from a bad red to a green. Now we're finally ready to fulfill this and it's pretty easy. All I have to do is validate the order, mark all as done, boom, it's all done. So I just showed you the normal flow, but wait, there's more. What if something went wrong and we don't have enough stock for the vendor to fulfill a delivery order? No worries, Odoo is built to handle that kind of thing. Let me show you how. So we're actually going to go back inside of the sales app. And I just noticed something. I have this quotation, in our case, for four mugs right here for Alice Lambert. And it's all ready to go. Now if I click on the little red icon right there, what do you see, Odooers? I can see we only have two units available. This, as you can already assume, is not enough to cover everything for the customer who purchased four. So let's see what happens when we confirm the sales order. So we're gonna actually going to confirm that. And we're going to click on the delivery smart button. As you guessed it, on the delivery order, we can see we only have two mugs reserved. So let's click on validate and then mark all is done because I want to show you again what happens. Boom. Something cool happened. A pop-up appears saying, we've processed leg less, less mugs than our initial demand of four. In this case, I have two choices. I can click over here for create a back order to send just two now and send the other two at a later time, or I could click no back order, which will send the two and tell the customer FedEx lost the other two or something like that. I don't know. But I won't be doing any trolling today, just so dupsies. So let's go ahead and click create back order. Now for the two mugs that are available, the status will end up changing to done. And if I follow the breadcrumbs, in our case, back over here to our sales order, there's something neat that happens. I can actually see that a new delivery order was created since the delivery smart button now shows two deliveries instead of one. So let's go on in there. All right, we want to take a look at the delivery order that has the waiting status up here in the top right. And this is because this is the delivery order for the remaining two mugs that we haven't sent out yet. Here, I can actually see that we still don't have availability. We can't, we don't have enough in stock to complete the order. Now this time, I'm going to go back out of here. We're going to go into the purchase app. We're going to do this very manually. Now for that, I actually need to create a new RFQ over here. And I need to select a vendor. I'm going to select Azure Interior because as you'll learn, I love them. And in our case, let's say that we want them to give us all of the stealthy mugs possible. So we're going to ask for 10. It's a good number. All right, now we're going to confirm this order. And while we can receive the products directly from this page, in our case by receive products, in real life shipping takes time. So we configured an expected arrival time for Azure Interior by setting, in our case, a vendor lead time as well, O doers, with the expected arrival. Now with the mugs now ordered, we can go back, in our case, to the inventory overview. And there's a reason for this. And then what do we want to click on? Well, one back orders button right there. Now from this list, and pretend that there's a whole lot more because we're a real business, we're actually going to click on the two mugs delivery order once again. Now on the delivery order for two mugs, as you can tell over here, the reserved column, it shows us the rest of Alice's order will arrive in two days. Now this allows us to ship the first half of the order with Odoo prompting us to send the rest when it arrives. Isn't that convenient, Odooers? Ah, well that's it for this tutorial on receiving and sending products as well as planning for future orders as you saw. Be sure to check out the rest of our inventory videos to learn more. We have lots of videos planned for you all, so stay tuned, bro doers. Thanks for watching. And if no one's told you this today, you're doing great. Grab a snack. I'll see you tomorrow.